we've got another fan yes. who I want to bring in who wants to join you uh, live. This is Mike Skillen. Hey, Mike. Mike, great. Hey, how are you doing? Great. Hey, Bill. Nice to see you. Jump in. All right. Um, I was wondering, do you believe that hitting people in their pocketbooks is an effective way to change behaviors that are going to be detrimental to the environment? So like, uh, like carbon taxes, uh, penalties for non-recyclers, or like when I lived in the UK, they have a congestion tax for drivers that go into central London. Do you think these ideas could work in the United States? Well, they could work. Uh, we have these extraordinary laws called the Clean Water Act and the Clean Air Act, which were created largely by conservatives. The Environmental Protection Agency was conserved by the, conceived by the Nixon administration. Right. And yes, you could have a fee. Now, we jokingly don't ever want to ever use the word tax. Ah, 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 taxes, we're all going to die. OK, we would have a fee on carbon dioxide production. And this is, uh, this is our dream on the progressive side of this, on the climate change concern side. If you had a fee on carbon, people would be motivated to produce less carbon dioxide. And then it would stimulate uh, investment in lower carbon producing transportation systems, agriculture, uh, manufacturing to produce, these systems would produce less carbon dioxide because there'd be a fee associated with making it. Ships at sea could be made a lot more efficient, for example, if they were charged a fee that then was passed on to the consumer when he and she bought clothes uh, that were made overseas and brought on ships. We could do all this if we were motivated. Now, and we have the system to collect it. We have the Internal Revenue Service, which exists. It's a bureaucracy that exists. People love to hate it. People also love to not die. But there's two things you can count on, death and taxes. So we could do this if we were motivated. And I strongly, I'm a big supporter of it. And I strongly believe it would change the world. Now, when it comes to cap and trade, that's, that's worked only on very small scales. But when you get huge countries involved, it's just too easy to serve so it. it. Yeah. yeah, it's too easy to game the system. I was talking to uh, the, the director of this new film, Racing to Extinction. Mm -hmm. He directed uh, The Cove. I don't know if you know that he was. Oh, yeah, very for relaxing it. film. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, kidding. It's, it's not an upbeat film, but uh, yeah. it's very informative. And he was saying that if everybody uh, just had one meatless day a week, you know, the the, the amount of energy that the that the that the meat industry produces is more than the transportation sector. Yeah. So we could do this. And how would you do it? You'd have a fee on carbon production, and then the price of meat would go way up, or up a little bit. People would be less motivated to buy expensive meat. Farmers who produce, or ranchers who produce the meat would now do it in a less uh, carbon producing or methane producing way. Everybody would be motivated to do more with less, to do a better job. Methane is a huge problem. But really in the biggest picture, carbon dioxide is, is really the thing. <laughs>